They call me Squirrel. What's going on, Squirrel Squad? It's your boy, the Squirrel. I got a little mail call to take care of today. So before I get into recording videos, I wanted to take care of uh, these packages here. This one here is, uh, I knew right away as soon as I saw that. It's funny, as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh, it's from Choppy. I, I, I know Choppy's uh, handwriting at this point. And uh, then I got this one here. This is, uh, I can tell from the back of the envelope, which I'm not going to show you because it has the address on it. This is from my buddy Steve Yates. And this one is from Alan. I know what this is. He already told me what it was. I know what it is. We'll get into this first. Alan, if you uh, didn't see the video, uh, it's the last mail call video I did last week, gave me this kick-ass handmade kettle from Turkey, which is absolutely beautiful. I love it. I really didn't want to put it on the stove and get it all black and use it, but I was like, ah, eh, you know. But Alan shot me a message. We got talking, and I was like, yeah, I don't really, didn't really want to use it, but you know. And he's like, don't, just save it. I got something else for you. And then he sent me this. Look at that. So let's take this out and have a look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh look. What? Look at this. I thought I was gonna regular little a regular teapot. Look at this guy. This is cool. It's cast iron. It's heavy as heck. Look at that. What a nice little pot. And it gets better by the minute. Hold on. That's the. It's cast iron. This is sick. Jeez, bro. You're like, oh, I'll just send you a regular pot that you can make stuff with. these. send you a cast iron pot. This is awesome. I love it. It's got a fucking squirrel on it. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, you son of a bitch. I love you. Wow. So check that. Oh, my God. Kidding me, dude. Look at this thing. This is awesome. And it's got the basket in it. Look at this. Man, this is a sick ass pot. <laughs> dude. dude. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to use this one because you told me to, but dude, I wasn't. Look at this. Look at the top. Look at the acorns. The acorns on top, squirrel on both sides. This thing's beautiful. What a cool little pot, man. I feel like I gotta drive to California and give you a big hug, buddy. Bro. So, uh, the guy who sent me the, uh, the huge tin of the, uh, the Earl Grey tea and the tea diffuser and that beautiful pot right up here has now one-upped himself with this awesome pot. Look at this damn thing. This is, this is awesome. As my buddy Carlo would say, it's the bee's knees. Wow. Alan, thanks, man. Thank you so much. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Thank you for that. It's beautiful. Um, oh, boy, boy. I just thought it was going to be like a regular kettle. I had no idea that it was going to be that. I thought it was going to be just a regular tea kettle, you know. That's pretty awesome, bro. So now let's move into uh, into the package from uh, my buddy Steve. So we start out with a card. Hmm, got a card here. Very nice. Very nice, look at this. Nice little card inside. It's very simple and to the point. It says, hello, squirrel. A bit of Spike to keep you amused during those long winter nights. Regards, Steve. And this is Spike Milligan, Adolf Hitler, my part in his downfall. The most irreverent, hilarious book about the war that I have ever read. Sunday Express, volume one of his classic war memoirs. Bro, oh, there's a bunch of them on the back. It's got the other ones, too. Um... Monty, his part in my victory, Mussolini. Oh boy, that's pretty neat. That's pretty awesome, actually. There's a whole one, two, three, there's seven of them in the series. Our first comic philosopher, Eddie Izzard. Imagine that, you got a little quote from Ed Eddie Izzard on your book. Um, well, it, we do have some long, cold nights. Wow, this is really cool because it's got some cool war photos in there. Um, this is gonna be a really neat read, man. I'm looking forward to this, actually. And you're right. This is uh, Gunner Milligan. Look at that. It's crazy, right? Uh, it definitely is some long winter nights over here. And uh, this is this is going to be awesome, man. Uh, dude, I can't believe it. Uh, this is awesome. Very cool. I look forward to reading this. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Um, 
this will be a nice, you know, it'll probably be one or two nights I'll get through this whole dang thing. It's a, it's a, it's a small little book, but I love it. I absolutely love it. And it looks like it's kind of like, you can, if you, I'm just flipping through real quick, they're like, it's, it's like in order almost as to how it all went down for him, which is kind of neat too, you know? It went from like March 41, is 42, or in January 43. So it's kind of cool. It's a chronological, uh, you know, uh, uh, memoir. So, awesome. Dude, Steve, you're awesome, bro. You wrote, you, I mean, you gotta know it, right? You were like, oh, look at this. Make the squirrel melt with this guy. Thanks, brother. Thank you so much, man. Dang. Well, let's get on to some mail from my buddy Choppy. I cut these open before I started just to make it easier because I had three packages. So I figured this way I could cut these and, uh, there we go. All right, let's see what we got here. We got a, as always, Choppy sends me a collection of of items to go through while, uh, you know, it, it, they're usually numbered in the letter. So here we go. I'm going to read the letter and I'll show you the stuff uh, as we go. Uh, let's see. Hi, Tony. Recently, I visited the town of Cockermouth. Cockermouth is 13 miles east of Whitehaven. On postcard one, top left photo is Marketplace circa 1802. So let me get to that. That's this one here. So top left photo 1802 marketplace um the top left photo is river cocker bottom left is jennings brothers um jennings brothers brewery circa brewery circa 1828 the bottom right photo is Cockermouth high street fish and chip shop is a real beauty and then on postcard two top Left is a picture gallery. I'm trying to get this, keep the glare off of these, sorry. Um, top left is a picture gallery. The top left is Jennings Brewery on the banks of the river. Oh, that's top right. Top right, top left. So hard. Um, yeah, it's Cockermouth again. So this is the brewery, I believe. Um, the bottom left is... Wharton Valley, and the bottom right is St. Martin's Church. Beautiful. Look at that. See the church? This is the church here, I believe. It's stupid ring light. Look at that, huh? These are cool. These are really cool. He, he always sends me some really nice photos or, uh, or postcards. All right, let's continue on. Uh, postcard number three, top left, is... Bitter End Pub and Brewery. There it is there. And then bottom left right here um, is Bassinthwaite Lake. Look at that. There it is. Bassinthwaite Lake right back there. Hope I said that right. The only lake in Lake District. Please turn over for the top right photo. Bottom left is Victorian. Please turn over for top right photo. Okay. Top right photo is Earl Mayo. Earl Mayo was born on the 21st, February 1822, born in Cockermouth. It's this uh, statue here, I believe. Earl Mayo was the MP from 1857 to 1867. Then Earl Mayo was appointed uh, Viceroy of India in January 1969. Earl Mayo um, was killed at the Battle of... Andaman in 8th February 1872 on postcard 4 sorry there was more on the bottom over here hold on bottom left is Victorian Terrace House by the name of Colorful Cottages please turn over the rest of the letter which I was going to do it's over here and then uh, let's go on to number 4 here there we go number 4 oh. I'm like, where is the four? I just saw it. I'm, I'm back on the front. There we go. Post number four, once again, is Jennings Brewery. Jennings was taken over by Marsden's Brewery. Uh, my favorite tipple is Marsden's Smooth 3.6% alcohol. I went to Carlisle Fleetwood. The, uh, Carlisle v. Fleetwood. The game ended in a 0-0 draw, by the way. That's the brewery. It's 
It's beautiful. Check that out, huh? That's really cool, man. That's, that's really cool, actually. Nice. Oh, I, 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 we don't have, like, I don't know. All our breweries nowadays look like modern, like, tech places. It's so weird. And it's just strange. Um, and then uh, he did go to the, Carl, uh, the Carlisle. I just want to make sure there's no info on here before I show it. Um, I don't know whose name that is, so I'm going to cover that up. Um, but uh, here's the ticket from uh, Carlisle v. Fleetwood. Boom. There's that. Thank you for the ticket, man. I love these tickets. It's awesome. Uh, let's see. Um, the two receipts are from Wilkinson's. Wilco's went bust on September 24th. Wilco's had a DIY center. The last thing is a Whitehaven's brick fridge magnet. Everybody wanted their house built with Whitehaven bricks. They were very sturdy. Whitehaven brick work closed their doors in 1975. I hope you like the selection. Bob's your uncle. Choppy. Choppy, man, you're awesome. I do. I love this selection. This is the brick magnet, which goes right here on the fridge. I do have a little fridge over here. I keep my magnets on. I've got my, I've got my, um, my throwback, like, French chocolate magnets I have here. Some I Love Canada magnets, which I got a while back. My Isle of White magnets on here. I got a bunch of stuff on my, I, this, this magnet here. I gotta show you this, this magnet. I got more magnets over here. There's more of the retro ones. There's the the red squirrel on this side. This magnet here, it looks like a it looks like a credit card, right? That's what it looks like. It looks like a credit card. And it, it's made like a credit card. This is um I probably talked about these guys before on the channel, but this was something uh, that I got sent to me back when I first started on YouTube and I was back to view this channel with Noah. Um, this was from Posh Cats Camping. So um, these guys are a lot of fun. They travel around their camper van. I met them um, through Desmond's Donders, uh, and then I met Posh Cats Camping through them, uh, Trev and Sue, and uh, great, great, they're great folks. They're a lot of they're a lot of fun. They're very, very nice people. Uh, very well, you know, very well put together in their videos. They're they're they're, uh, they're finding some success now on YouTube, which is well deserved. And um, I need to stop over and see my friends again. I watch a video from here to there, but I need to go over there and actually just leave a comment and say what's up and say hello to them because they're really, really, really great people. If you uh, if you feel so inclined, go check out Posh Cats Camping. It's a cool um, it's a cool YouTube channel. I like these guys and uh, Desmond's Donners as well. I'll try to remember to put links to both their channels in the description below in case you want to check them out because they're just they're, they're two couples. They're two couples who are. Uh, yeah, you know, they're a little older than me, and uh, they, they, they travel around and camp in their vans and stuff, and um, you get to see a lot of a lot of history, beautiful buildings and countrysides and stuff, and uh, it's, it's kind of neat, so, yeah. But that's on this fridge, too. Uh, got off on a little tangent, just because I miss those guys. I haven't seen them in a while, so I got my, uh, got some, uh, my Aussie one here. There we go, huh? So yeah, it's kind of cool. This little fridge is filling up nicely here, and these are uh, these are the local receipts. Look at this. Yeah, what do we buy here, huh? Flex loop bags. Don't have cleaning cards. It's great. It's great, man. I, it's funny because I I love all these little things, even receipts from stores, because it's so different than over here. It's cool to look through and. You know, first of all, not just to see what everything costs, but on top of that, uh, just to see the other information they put on um, on uh, on their uh, on their receipts and stuff, which is kind of neat. So, Choppy, thank you, man, and Steve, thank you, Alan, thank you, man. What a great little uh, great little mail call from the three of you. You guys are uh, you guys are awesome, Steve and Choppy, man. You guys have been sending me things for a long time and i greatly appreciate you choppy i love your letters man i really do um you ought to see my writing man it's it's absolutely atrocious so when i get your uh, your letters from anybody i always appreciate how well everyone writes i know it sounds kind of weird but i'm just my writing's so sloppy it's horrible um but i always appreciate these they're always heartfelt and they always make me uh they make me feel really good so thank you guys thank you all three of you man you guys are awesome one more shot of the teapot <sighs> Well, that sucker, huh? That's right. And we got these nice postcards. And let's not forget the nice book we got from Steve as well. And all the stuff we just went through from Choppy. You guys are awesome. All three of you. All of you guys in the squad are awesome. I want to thank everyone for checking this out. You guys take care of yourselves, all right? Scroll out.